Hello, welcome back to Einstein Mechanics. In today's episode, we are going to solve some examples on the mesh current analysis. So, this is our example. Find the currents I1, I2, and I3 using mesh analysis. So, we are to use the mesh analysis and we have our circuit. So, we can see the various resistors and we have two power source that's the 15 volt and the 10 volt so we are going to make the analysis to calculate for the current the big i1 i2 and i3 using the mesh analysis so we know that in the mesh analysis we have to consider each mesh and also introduce our mesh current so in the first mesh so this is the first mesh this is the second mesh. We know that a mesh is a loop that does not contain any other loop. So I can say here is A, B, C, D, E, and F. So the first is the first mesh and the second is the second mesh. So let's introduce our mesh current. So I'll call this as the mesh current small letter i1 that is passing through the first mesh and in the second mesh the current small letter i2 that is passing through the second mesh so once i have this i can begin to solve so considering the mesh one we can start with what the mesh one and make some analysis so one we introduced we introduce the mesh current and this time it was I1 and I2. So we can solve considering mesh 1. So let me take mesh 1 from mesh 1. This is the diagram for the first mesh. It is going to be this way. We have our 5 ohm resistor and the second part we are going to get the 10 ohm. We have our power source that is here and we also have the 15 volts also here so this is our diagram for the first mesh this is 5 ohm and this is 10 this power source is also 10 volts and we have 15 volts so the current moving through this is our I1, small letter I1. So the analysis. Now we are not paying attention to the capital current because we are working on the mesh current. So let's start with the analysis. First, it is going to pass through this 5 ohm, and you know that the voltage that we are going to use here, we are going to apply the KVL. So the voltage across the 5 ohm is going to be the 5 multiplying the current which is i1 passing through it now plus at the second point looking at this 10 ohm resistor as this i1 is passing through with the small letter i1 from mesh 1 the mesh 2 is also having a current i2 also passing through it and they are opposing each other in the 10 ohm resistor so in such cases we are going to take the one we are focusing on now our focus is in current i1 so in that case it is going to be the resistance which is 10 multiplying the current our focus is on i1 but i2 is also passing through minus i2 are we okay now we go to I think we are done with the resistors so we are going to equate it to the voltage source let's see how we can do that in the mesh analysis so this is going to be equal to one we have one voltage source looking at this voltage source the mesh current is coming out from the negative side so meaning we are having a negative 10 and looking at the second mesh or the second voltage source the mesh current is coming out from the positive side so that is going to be positive 15. so now our analysis can be 5 i1 plus 10 
i1 minus 10 i2 should be equal to what 5. So this is going to give us an equation 15 i1 minus 10 i2 should be equal to 5 as my equation 1 from mesh 1. Now we can also consider the mesh 2. The mesh 2. From the mesh 2, we can also draw the diagram. That's the second mesh here and see how it goes. So the second diagram is also having this way. This 6 ohm resistor is there. Then we have the 4 ohm resistor. In here, we have the 10 ohm resistor and the voltage source. So this is the mesh 2. We have our 6 ohm. This is our 4 ohm. And this is our 10 volt. And we have this also as 10 ohm. What is the current passing through the second mesh? That's the mesh current I2. So the same approach, we are going to do the mesh current analysis. So let's look at how best we can get this done and look at the solution. So here, first this current is going through the 6 ohm resistor. So the voltage will be the 6 multiplying the current, which is what? I2. Plus, it is going to also pass through the 4 ohm, which is 4 multiplying the current I2. Plus, it is also going to pass through the 10 ohm resistor. But here we can see from the main question that this 10 ohm is having mesh current I1 passing through it and I2 also passing through it. But here our focus is on the second mesh. So our focus is on the second mesh, which will be 10. Here I2 minus I1. In the first mesh, it is I1 minus I2 because the focus is on I1. Here we are focusing on I2. So I2 minus I1 should be equal to the voltage source. And the mesh current is coming out from the positive side. So that will be 10. So when you simplify this, you are going to get your 6 I2 plus 4 I2 plus 10 I2 minus 10 I1 should be equal to 10. And the simplified version should be, we are going to have negative 10 I1 plus 20 I2 should be equal to 10 as our equation. Two. So you can see that we have equation 1 and equation 2. So we can solve this simultaneously and obtain the answers for I1 and I2. So let's look at it. Now, solving I1 and I2 from the two equations, that is equation 1 and equation 2, using simultaneous equation, you are going to get your I1 to be 1 ampere and your I2 should be 1. So here are the mesh currents. The mesh current I1 is 1 ampere. The mesh current I2 is also 1 ampere. Now the question is asking us to find current I1, the capital I1 and I2 and I3. So we have to use that idea to go and solve for the original current. Now, what do we have to do over here? From the diagram, you can see that I1 is equal to I1, which is equal to because this current I1 is the same current passing through the 5 ohm. And that same current is the capital I1. And that is... 1 ampere. Now we want to find the current I2. So current I2 is also equal to the I2 because looking at this I2 that is passing through the 6 ohm resistor, it is the same current the I2 is using. So the I2 is also 1 ampere. Now we have I3. 
I3. So what we have to do here is check the direction of the current. We can use the node analysis tool or the I1 should be equal to, we can say I2 plus I3, where our I3 is equal to I1 minus I2. And that is going to be I3 should be 1 minus 1, and that is equal to 0, meaning there's no current. But this is not actually true. We are just using the diagram for what? Um, just analysis. But in actual sense, there should be current passing through this branch. Yes, it is an active branch. But yes, this is the analysis that we are doing to get the answer as zero. You can also use this approach to get the answer for I3 because in I3, the current I1 is coming down, current I2 is what? Opposing it. So it will be one coming down minus the other opposing is still giving you zero. But once again, this is for just analysis. In actual sense, it should be current flowing. We can check out for the next example. So let's quickly go to the example two. And look at it. So, example two. Calculate the current in the three resistors using the mesh analysis. So, in some situations, the question is going to restrict you and give you what approach to use. So, here we are to use the mesh analysis. So, this is the circuit. We have our three resistors the 3 ohm, the 6 ohm, and the 5 ohm resistor. And let's look at the current I1, capital I1, capital I2, and I3 passing through it. So we know that mesh analysis, I'm going to introduce my first mesh current, my second mesh current, I2, through that. So solution. When you consider the mesh one, so you can also have the diagram for the mesh one, very simple where we have our 3 ohm here. We also have this 5 ohm. Our voltage source, which is the 10. And it is closed. So this is the mesh current I1. 3 ohms and this is 5 ohm. So the analysis is going to be the voltage using KVL. So the voltage through the 3 ohm is going to be the Resistance multiplying the current, which is I1, plus the 5, because we are focusing on the current I1, I2 is also going to pass through the 5 ohm by opposing the direction. So that is going to be 5 I1 minus I2. Should be equal to the voltage. The mesh current is coming out from the positive side, so that will be 10. And now the rest is mathematics. This is going to give us 3 I1 plus 5 I1 minus 5 I2 should be equal to 10. And that is going to be 8 I1 minus 5 I2 should be 10. This is our equation 1. Now we can consider the mesh 2. And in mesh 2, this is also the diagram. We have the 6 ohm resistor. And this is our 15 voltage source. We also have this 5 ohm and we close our circuit. So this is 5. This is 6 ohm. This is also 5 ohm. And this is our mesh current I2. So the same approach, this current is passing through the 6. So that will be 6 multiplying I2 plus. 5 in the 5, the I1 is passing through opposing the I2. So the I1 is here, and that will be our focus is on I2. So that will be I2 minus I1. And it is equal to the voltage source. Looking at here, it is coming out from the positive side. So that will be 10. And if we simplify this, then our answer is going to give us so 6I2 plus. 5i2 minus 5i1 is equal to the voltage is 5. That's 5. This is the voltage 5, positive 
5. And our analysis final equation that is going to be negative 5 i1 plus 11 i2 should be equal to 5 as equation 2. So now we can begin to solve equation 1 and equation 2 simultaneously. And with that, we are going to get our answer for i1 as equal to 2.143 amperes. And if we solve it again, our I2 is also going to be 1.429 amperes from the simultaneous equation. Now we have the solution for I1 and I2. We are to use that to solve for the capital I1 and I2. What do we see? We can see that this current I1, as it is moving through the circuit, is passing through the 3 ohm resistor, and it is the same as the current I1 that is also coming to pass through it. So our current I1 is equal to the mesh current I1, and that is 2.143 amperes. The same way when we come to the second mesh, this current I2 that is passing through the circuit and pass through the 6 ohm is equal to I3 passing through it. So I3 is equal to the mesh current I2, and that will give us 1.429 amperes. Now we have I2 to calculate for, and our I2, that is going to be, we can use the node analysis, I1 equal to I2 plus I3, and our I2 is going to be I1, which is 2.143 minus I3, 1.429. And our I2 is going to give us an answer of 0 0.714 amperes. Are we okay? So the same way we can also use the mesh approach to get for I2, because we can see that this I1 is coming, this I2 is also opposing it. And we know the value for I1 to be 2.143, I2 to be 1.429. So meaning the actual current passing through is the difference I1 and I2, and that is going to give you 0.714. 4 amperes. So this is just for the mesh analysis. It is very simple and straightforward. Thank you for watching this episode. Please subscribe to the channel, like, like and drop your comments. See you in the next episode.